Hi guys, welcome to the second webcast of the week. Today we're going to be talking about food processing and di di digestion. And we're going to be going over uh, six essential food processing activities. Uh, first thing I'd like to say is that food starts out the outside the body. Food starts outside of the body and stays outside of the body. So it's going through that alimentary canal the whole time, which is technically part of the outside world, it's outside the body. So just remember that the food isn't entering, entering your body in the sense that we've been talking about. Food starts outside the body, stays outside the body. Part of the hollow lumen that connects to the outside world. Okay, and hopefully we'll run through this pretty quickly. Um, I'm just going to draw a diagram that's most copied from the book, and we'll go through it. First, I'm going to say, point out before I start drawing, because I'm going to start color coding right away, that there's two different kinds of epithelial cells. Uh, found in, let's say epithelium, found in the digestive tract, and that's going to be stratified squamous, stratified squamous, and simple columnar, Oop. simple columnar. That stratified squamous, remember, is for protection and to resist abrasion. And that simple columnar is going to be there for absorption and secretion. So that's important to say before we start this drawing, because I'm going to start right away with the color coding. And so we're going to say that the mouth, so we'll say the mouth is up here. And that's going to be stratified squamous. Well, starting with the throat. We'll just color code that the same. So we're going to start out with your mouth. And your pharynx and your esophagus is all going to be stratified squamous to protect against abrasion of the food coming down. Then we're going to move into the stomach, which is going to be simple columnar. Simple columnar. I want to draw this picture a little skewed so I can fit all on the same page, hopefully. And that's going to lead into your small intestine, and then your large intestine, and that's all going to be uh, simple columnar. And then when we get to the very end, the rectum and the anus are both going to just go back to stratified squamous. have this be the end. And so you can see the different types of epithelium. We'll go through and label where everything is now. So that's mouth. This is going to be the esophagus. Esophagus. Stomach. Small intestine. Intestine. Large intestine. and anus. Okay, so first, the first of our six steps is going to be ingestion. Ingestion. And that's food entering the body. Food entering the body. I shouldn't have to explain that one. The next is going to be mechanical digestion. So two is mechanical di digestion. Mechanical digestion. And what's that going to be? So that's going to involve chewing. Chewing. Up here in your mouth. I guess that's where I have the mouth. Churning in your stomach. Churning. And segmentation in the small intestine. Segmentation in the small intestine. And I'll scroll down to to give you that diagram. So we can go over the difference between segmentation and peristalsis. That's going to be in, in the small intestine, right? The third is going to be propulsion. It's a little bit too close to the last color, so we'll go with orange. 
propulsion. So that's going to be moving food through your, your digestive system. So you're going to have both swallowing that takes place in the mouth as well and peristalsis. Peristalsis. Try to spell it right this time. Swallowing and peristalsis. The fourth is going to be chemical digestion. We'll do chemical digestion right here. Chemical digestion. And that's going to be, that's going to happen in the small intestine and the stomach. And that's going to be um, breaking apart food uh, via secretions and, and via chemicals. So the acidity in your stomach and then other enzymes in your small intestine breaking apart food. So it's going to happen in the small intestine. So let's say stomach and small intestine. Cool. Then we have absorption. Absorption. So where's that going to take place? Probably everywhere where there's simple columnar epithelium, right? Absorption. We'll put that right here. Absorption. Yes, for the P. And that's going to take place in your stomach, in your small intestine and in your large intestine, right? And the large intestine is going to be mostly water absorption. It's going to be mostly water reclamation. And the last part is defecation, so getting the food back to the outside, outside world. Defecation. That's with an E. Defecation. And that's going to take place at the anus. So those are the six, six essential steps of food processing. So we have ingestion, chemical digestion, propulsion. I'm sorry, ingestion, mechanical digestion, propulsion, chemical digestion, absorption, and defecation. Now I said I have to go over the difference between peristalsis and segmentation. So we'll scroll down. I'll leave this here for a second. So you have that for reference. We've got ingestion, ingestion two was mechanical digestion, mechanical digestion. Three is propulsion. Four, chemical digestion. Five, absorption. And six is going to be defecation. Cool, those are six steps. Real quick, the difference between peristalsis and segmentation. So we have peristalsis, which we went over last time, which is going to be the movement of food. That's going to help with the propulsion. And so you've got part of your uh, small intestine here. And we've got this cinched up. We've got the cir circular muscular muscle cinched up. And then as the longitudinal muscle contracts, it's going to move this food down. So this is like a wave to get food down to the bottom, right? That's peristalsis. Segmentation Segmentation is going to be the mixing of food. So that was part of the mechanical digestion. 
and that's going to be say you've got these food pockets right here then the next step and let's see we'll say half of it is orange okay, this is an orange one this is an orange one and this is a green one so this is the color of food that you have in that at the next step you've got a difference in where it's contracting you're going to get a mixture of food so we'll have part of this be green part of this be orange all the way down so the bottom of the orange here the top of the orange here top of the green here bottom of the green here so you can see that it starts to mix and say it does that one more time then you'd have this complete mixture of food. And that's going to be the difference between peristalsis and segmentation. I think that ran just about 10 minutes. So we'll go ahead and end it there. And hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Let's show a quick, what's the difference between, I don't know what the combination of red and green, or orange and green is, or else I'd make it that color. But now you've got both of these mixed here. Alright, take it easy guys.